Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. I'm shitting my pants. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love being on stage, but I can't get used to the fact that the whole room is looking at me going, make me laugh, butch. And I'm a butch, alright? Honestly, a doctor. My swans are sick. The beach is that way. Well, to be honest, I'm not really. I'm what people call average. And what average means is, is that I'm never going to get married in my entire life. Aww. Aww. Thanks. I mean, the way I see it, there are two types of men that women fall in love with. Do you remember the personality you get? Oh, he's well sweet. You're not talking about that now. Sorry, yes. <laughs> two. Remember the bodies? Who get, oh, you throw fit. You, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, because this, this is what I get. It's all right. <laughs> Although saying that, I did pull this bird on the way home from the club the other night. I looked at her, she looked at me, I winked, she blushed, and we walked all the way to my house. And when I turned to say goodbye, she bent over. And then she ate the bread that was on the bottom of my shoe and flew away. <laughs> <laughs> on the subject of birds, my mum loves pets. So for her birthday, we went down to a doctor's centre. I don't know if you've been to one, but it looks like a rehab centre for pets. Don't get me wrong, I feel for them, but it looks like they're on smack. <laughs> anyway, I found the power wind. It was a, a parrot. It had a broken wing, a kind of hurt leg, and a kind of shuffle. I was going to give it a stroke, but it looked like I already did. <laughs> <laughs> a few months ago, I went, uh, I went home and I found all my windows being smashed open and everything taken. I was fucking gutted. What sicko would do that to my advent calendar? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing that any first aid I find an ice pack cures everything? I've got a headache. Have an ice pack. I've got a toothache. Have an ice pack. I've got a sore throat. Have an... <laughs> <laughs> and in school, didn't you hate being grammatically corrected? I mean, you ask, can I go to the toilet? Can Blake go to the toilet? Yes, Blake. Can go to the toilet. May he go to the toilet. It's all right. Piss himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as you can see, uh, things don't go all that well for me. I mean, I don't always get the girl. I mean, that's what you get for being a good person. It appears to me that the narrowest way through in life is if you're a cunt. <laughs> so, it's getting a bit cruder up in the space. Brap. <laughs> Virgin Atlantic Airways have a tagline of, you always remember your first time. <coughs> Which is true. I remember my first gig, it was awesome. I remember my first time about to have sex, but I gave the hip hop to the wrong person. <laughs> now, you may be sitting there thinking it's a dumb thing to do, but picture this. I'm there, ready for the snatch and grab. Cloth in hand, all row hipped up. And I need to sneeze. <laughs> the outcomes are very limited. <laughs> this mistake gave me troubling symptoms for weeks. Like tiredness, dizziness, and a sore ass. <laughs> that better be one of the symptoms. Anyway, I remember my first time actually having sex. Well, it would have been enjoyable if the bitch didn't stop trying to escape. <laughs> I hate hacking in the boot fairs. I mean, I begged, I pleaded, but she wouldn't give me a blowjob for a pound. <laughs> she was asking for two, but man, a man has his limits. <laughs> Don't think Down syndromes have enough worries without the haircut? <laughs> What statistic barber is thinking this kid is getting bullied enough? How about a bowler cut? <laughs> Doesn't the word kidder sound like a fancy name for a paedophile? Oh, he's such a kidder. <laughs> Do old age pensioners get anxious when they're up to a dead end sign? I hate people that dress their dogs, but the worst costume I've seen is a yellow fluorescent jacket. Can they not see how ridiculous it looks? <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a speech impediment, there are people you can talk to. But it will take fucking ages. <laughs> My 
my friend's got a speech impediment, it's a severe sort of lispy thing. She don't like to talk about it. She can't. <laughs> but she was bullied so mercilessly at her job that she left. She got herself into the tourism business. She sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> if you've got a speech impediment and you're offended by that, tell me. <laughs> the worst thing about being told to get Alzheimer's is it doesn't just happen once. <laughs> The worst thing about being told to get Alzheimer's is it doesn't happen once. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm like, right, you've been amazing. <laughs>